So, good news everybody. I just figured out how to create cold fusion, which will actually bring an unlimited supply of cheap energy to the entire planet, basically forever. So, good news I guess. And I'll tell you how I did it, right here and now. Uh, this is what you need to do, okay? It's kind of complicated, but I'll explain it to you briefly. Um, it uses a principle called quantum entanglement which is a really unexplained principle that really shows us that we don't understand the entire fabric of the universe and really how everything works. Um, this is what the principle does. If you take two charged particles and you separate them both, by, it doesn't even matter how long you can separate them, by 10 feet or by the entire universe. Um, and what happens is when you do something to one of the particles, you can do a lot of different things too. You can heat it up, you can change the position, the orientation, the momentum, whatever you know, whatever you want to do to this particle, the other particle actually changes at the exact same time. Whatever change you do to this particle has happened simultaneously to this particle over here. Uh, which is incredibly fascinating and a lot of huge corporations are putting millions of dollars into studying this right now to figure out how we can use it for uh, communication, even stuff like teleportation, and a lot of crazy stuff. And it's really unexplained by modern physics, and it's one of the key principles in physics that really tells us that we don't know everything yet about the universe. And uh, someday, hopefully, we, we figure it out and we use it for something that's amazing. Like right now, actually. Um, so this is how we use it to create cold fusion. Um, what we do is we take a lot of these particles, uh, we entangle lots of them. So you have a lot of interconnecting particles. Then what you do is you take one of them, you move it far away, and then you take all of the, the connected ones. You have a whole bunch of these interconnected particles, and you put them really close together in super proximity to each other. Um, and then what you do is you take the other particles far, far away, and you simultaneously manipulate all of these particles to create um, their corresponding particles um, to basically give them tension, to push them together and provide a lot of force. Now, if you don't know what cold fusion is, which you probably don't because a lot of people really don't know what it is, it's basically when you have two, um, two atoms and you combine both of these atoms together. Now, these atoms repel each other because of magnetism, so it's really difficult to push them together. It's, it's super hard, but when you do push them together, it actually creates a lot of heat energy. And that's actually what happens at the center of our sun. That's how our sun burns for millions of years, billions of years, and uh, produces a huge amount of heat energy, um, atomic energy. Now, it's super hard to do, and we can push them together if we have tons of heat and force and energy and, and create this, this, what's called a hot fusion or a warm fusion or whatever you want to call it. Um, but it takes more energy to actually combine them than what you get out of it. So. It's, there's really no benefit to it. So the thing with cold fusion is if we can figure out a way to combine these particles, generate that heat without putting more energy into it than what we get out of it, then it becomes this wonderful supply of everlasting energy that will, will never run out for us and is easily producible and will really help mankind. Okay, so you get the picture. Um, so, and that's how we create it, by, by using this theory of entanglement by manipulating the entangled particles which you have the little particles all clumped together and when you man manipulate their corresponding ones far away it creates this tension on the small particles and what you can do is you can create enough tension to overcome the, uh, the magnetism which is pushing them apart. Now the reason why it will create so much tension you need to understand that when you manipulate one particle the corresponding particle um, changes instantly, faster than the speed of light. Okay, so that's um, you know a ridiculous amount of force and basic, basically tension going between the two of them. So that would definitely be anything that creates sufficient tension to react quicker than the speed of light, which, um, going off modern day physics, says that nothing could possibly travel faster than the speed of light. So if this thing changes faster than the speed of light, there's an immense amount of force going between the two of them. Um, definitely enough force to overcome the magnetism which is pushing the two particles apart. And then you have, voila, you have these two particles which merge together. Um, the two atoms combine their electrons and neutrons, push together and get in a magnetic field and generates this heat energy. 
and it took less energy to manipulate the, the far apart entangled particles and just adjust those a tiny bit, just a tiny little adjustment it can affect the particles that are close together and create this massive amount of tension in between of them. And that is how you create cold fusion. So there you go. I just solved humanity's greatest problem of our ongoing energy crisis. And now we'll have uh, enough food, lighting, energy to solve out these problems and every other issue the world might ever have. So don't mention it, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.